Hi there. I'm going to do a, a little presentation on New Year's resolutions. We're at the start of a new academic year and hopefully some of you people might have already made a New Year's resolution but some of you might have thought, nah, what's the point, I'd never keep them. Most of you will be aware that a New Year's resolution is your commitment to doing something a bit different this year. Okay? Uh, it's a commitment uh, to maybe changing a habit, learning something new, or just doing something outside the norm. There's some typical New Year's resolutions. Get more exercise, stop smoking, uh, get a better job, lose weight, improve your grades. Those are the typical ones that you, uh, you might be familiar with. Now in a study a few years ago, um, the group of people who they asked, 52% of them attempted to make a, a resolution um, at the start of the new year. But only 8% of them actually achieved their uh, original goal. When they started to look into it, um, men certainly were more successful when they put in place milestones along the way. Okay. Small goals that lead to the bigger ambition. Females were more successful if they got family or friends involved, so it kept them motivated. Now, I'm going to very quickly go over a couple of my resolutions. Um, there's the first three that I can really remember. Uh, and all three of them were quite academic ones, involved me going uh, to like a night class. Uh, the first one, adult education certificate. I fancied changing my job and I was thinking about maybe going into uh, teaching because we were possibly thinking about having children and a, a, a teaching uh, job is, uh, fits in well around family. Um, now, after I finished that, uh, that night class, the following year I got my first teaching uh, or trainee uh, teaching post. Uh, so that, my, that resolution there has actually led to me doing the job that I'm in today, 16 years later. Now, as I say, those are uh, sort of academic resolutions and essentially uh, over a period of time these three children came along and I just didn't really have the interest or the motivation to do a night class. So I decided to come out of my comfort zone and look at maybe my creative side which I don't have or, or that's how I would have described it. So you can see there the first one, watercolour painting, never done art, didn't do music, so a lot of those resolutions there I was really out of my comfort zone. Uh, there's a little link there to some pictures that I've drawn and painted. Uh, there's a little music clip there of me singing Hey There Delilah. Uh, now that resolution that year was to learn guitar, not to sing, so uh, not too much criticism there please. And also there's a, a little PowerPoint there with some of my photography on. Uh, and I've actually uh, won um, several different uh, prizes at the local sort of shows and things. So there's a variety of activities there. Uh, this one's particularly interesting, keeping a diary. I still occasionally get out that diary just to see what I was doing that particular year. Uh, and that's an interesting one too. I tried to learn uh, piano that year, but because I didn't put in place the support or the scaffolding, uh, it failed. Okay, I thought, oh well, I've got YouTube, I've got some books, I'll learn myself. But it didn't really uh, happen, that ran out of motivation. Uh, and it's one that I'll probably come back to at some point. You can see from 2010, uh, there's quite a lot of sort of physical activity there focused on my fitness. In 2010, at the start of the year, um, I was well just over sort of 13 stone, and for a tall dwarf, that's really quite heavy. Um, done my first triathlon, um, took up uh, road cycling the following year, and that was an interesting one in 2012. Um, one of my former students was diagnosed and died unfortunately of cancer so uh, I decided to raise some money for Zoe's place who, took her, uh, who, who looked after him 
uh, and I also wrote a blog on my training. Uh, so we raised quite a bit of money uh, for Josh that particular year, uh, which we gave to Zoe's place. And the blog, um, well, I still keep the blog now, uh, and I've had over 16,000 views of that blog because there's lots of different articles in there. Open water swimming and voluntary work in 2013. Um, I'm still involved in the voluntary work uh, in my community uh, and as I say a lot of these activities are now part of my day to day um, sort of routine so I'm now on my fifth marathon sort of sixth or so triathlon uh, I keep a blog all of the time so as I say all of these activities are now just part of my normal lifestyle And so what? Okay, that's the question. That's me. What about you? Well, from my point of view, those activities have had quite a profound change in my life. It led to a different job. It's changed my mindset from a closed mindset to an open one because I'm much more of a can do or I can't do yet. So. I'm much more willing to take on a challenge and come outside my comfort zone. I would like to think that some of the voluntary work has impacted on some other people's lives and I get a sense of satisfaction from helping others. My CV is certainly a lot more interesting and I've met lots of interesting people along the way. And I'm certainly a lot fitter than I was in 2009. Now as I say, from your point of view, I want you to start thinking about setting yourself a, a challenge this year. Be realistic. Okay? If you say you're going to run a half marathon, well, let's do maybe a 10k first. If you're already saying, oh, what's the point, I can't be bothered, well, yeah, you've failed already. Okay? You've got a closed mindset. So if you don't try, you'll, you don't know what you're capable of achieving. You're only limited by your own inhibitions. So come outside your comfort zone and have a go at something that you fancy doing but you don't think you can. Important two points. Put together a little action plan. Little stepping stones to lead to that bigger goal. Also put in some support, whether that's a teacher, join a group, get a friend involved or some family members. All of those things will help you get to your uh, final goal. Okay.